one of the main questions I get asked from traders is, should I be buying or should I be selling? Imagine having a simple price that you knew that above that, the buyers were likely to take charge, and below it, the sellers were likely to take charge. And that's exactly what key turns. It answers the question, should I be buying or should I be selling? Now you can see here, this is a S&P 500. This is just a simple 10 minute chart. And you can see right here that we had the close on Friday. And then of course, Monday is when we started the sell off really Sunday in the uh, Globex session. So I want you to notice what happens here. These start when they populate. So they open at the Globex session. And here we have it opened right here. They popped up above here. And then they brought it back down. And you're short, you're, you're long above it, and you're short below it. And this was at 3309. And the, this day moved all the way down to 3213. So nearly 100 points from Sunday's signal to be short below key turns. Can it really be that simple? Now let's go look. Here's the open on Tuesday's Globex session. So this is Monday evening. Here's the open. Here's our key turn price. Let me hop back here for a minute. There's actually three different prices on a lot of these days. Some of these you can't see the other price because sometimes they're the same. But in this day, you can see there's actually three separate prices. And these are like extension prices. So the original indicator only had this price. And then this, you know, that we would be extended if we got here and extended if we got here. So we want to treat them all pretty much the same. We want to be short below this one and long above that one. So let me just pull this day into view here. So here we have the open on Monday night. This is the Tuesday Globex session. So Monday night we opened. Here's our key turn at 1475. They came right down. They tested it. And then we're remember, we're long above it and we're short below it. So we're long. And here this went from 1475, 32, 1475, all the way up here to 3248. So this this movement right here, over 30 points up to there. So now we have, we're, remember, long above and short below. And eventually, they just can't hold up above it. So they come down. They try to hold. They're trying. You can see here they're using it to the tick on these some of these candles. They're trying to hold it. They push it. And by the way, just from here, this is still 10 points from here to here. So there's room to find ways to take profit. They come back and they hold it. It's only going to hold so many times. They come, they test it, they test it, they test it. They're testing it. It's just not holding. They break below it. They try it again. They come down. They're testing it here. And then it sells off from 47 all the way down here to 20. So there's 27 points. They come back up and they test it again. We're short below it. They come from 47. They come all the way down here to 14. Remember, we're long above here, and we're short below it. So they break down. We're short. And it goes from 14, remember, long above and short below. So now we're long from here. And then we're short from here. So they come from 14 down to 98. So about 16 points here. So there's a 16-point trade. Now we're long again, another 16 points. And then this one, another 16 points. And then we're short over here. And then they come right back up and they test it and they use it to the tick. And from 98, from 3198, just notice what happens here is we trade all the way down here to 3117. So about 70 points or so from here down to there. So this is an, a day where from here, from 14, this is a day where if you're just using the key turn levels, yes, nothing's going to work 100% of the time. But you're, you can really minimize your losses because we're literally, these are a tick apart 
So I'll separate that out so you can see that. Right there we have 98 quarter and we have 98 even. So one tick below it, we're short, and one tick above it, we're long. And you can see they came right up, they tested it to the tick, and then they sold off from there. That's not uncommon to see at all. So we're short from there. This is a day where there's 150 points or more if you're just using key turns, okay? So then now let's look at, let's go forward here and look at this day. And we can see we're really open up and we're trading kind of right in the middle of these. So we're long below this, or we're, we're long above this one and we're short below this one. So if you're right in the middle of that range, then you may not want to be doing anything. So what would be better would be getting short up towards the top and getting long towards the bottom. So here's the, at one point, there's a sell-off here from 59 and that ends up coming all the way down. If you were long from your key turn, that came down to 13. So there's 40 something points. And then if you're long over here, obviously that didn't work. So then you're short on the breakdown. That goes from 12 all the way down here to 91. So 20 something points down here. Comes back up, they can't hold it, they break above. I mean, they're really trying here. Eventually, they're able to hold right here to the tick. They hold this price at 13, and they rally all the way back up to 63. So here's a 50-point trade right there. If you are short below this, so they have a big wick, they come back down, they go from 62 all the way down to 47. So 15 points or so here. They come back up above. They come from 63 all the way up here to 82. That's 19 points. And then finally they break and they're able to hold to the tick right here at 63. And from 63 they end up coming all the way back down to 13. That's another 50 points. So 50 points, 50 points. And then they're trying, they're trying, they're trying. This one holds right here to the tick and event that's 13 and they come up here to 34 so there's 20 points on a bounce right there and then they end up breaking below it and coming about 15 points or so down here and then we open for the next day let's just pull up the data box so we can so here you can see this is now we're looking at the 26th and remember, we're long above it. And these are very, very close together because this is not, this is saying it can't get very high up above here without being extended. So here's the original key turn price. We can't get very high up above this original key turn price without being overextended. So let's just look at this day of how this actually played out. So here we have, there we go. So they came down. They eventually held this one. They finally were able to break and push from 87 down to 75. We're short below that from 75. They came all the way down to 59. And then they came back up and then came back down. And then they, I mean, this is the, you know, between here, 75 and 88. So this is 13 points or so. And then finally they break, and then finally you really, this is all, by the way, overnight trading that's happening right here. So when at about 5 o'clock Pacific time, 8 o'clock Eastern time, it, it, op it, it b holds right here. They're finally able to break. It goes all the way from 75 down to uh, 06. So there's 70 points on this trade down to there. They try, they try, they try, they try. They break, they test it. You just want to see that they hold that to the tick right here. You can see in the data box right here where the key turn is at 75.50. And you can see the high of this candle. If you look at that, the high of the candle is 75 quarter, which is also the sell change. So 75.50 is where it above that it turns to buying and below that it turns to selling and so here they hold that to the tick at 75 quarter 
and this thing just ends up taking off from 75 all the way down to 2952. So this trade from 3075 ends up going all the way down here before the end of the day. Well, this would have been the end of the day right here. And the low of this was 4450. So 3076 down to 2944. So 130 point sell off using key turn to the tick right there. Next day opens up. Remember, we're short below it. We're long above over here. So what happens? Let's get this back into view better in our chart. So here we have, they open up. We're shorting up in this area. Whoop. We're shorting up in this area. They do probe up above here. They come right back down below it. We're short again from 2974 all the way down here to 2925. So this is 50 points. We're long again right here. This goes from 25, bounces all the way back up to 53. There's over 25 points right here on this move. They come down. They finally are able to break here and start really pushing. So they break this 29 quarter. And they go down. So here's another 20. Uh, here's another 25 points on this trade right there. They try again over here, and then they're playing around with it over here. This is, again, this is the middle of the night. Here's the, here's the touch. They probe one tick above it. Here's the touch right there, 29, uh, down at 25, and it goes all the way down to 79. This is a 50-point trade nearly. We're trying up here. They just can't hold up above here eventually. They come up, they, I mean, if you just look at even where they don't hold, we've got 25 all the way back up to 53. This is nearly, uh, this is almost 30 points, 25 points. Here's another move. They break down below here from 25 back down to 72. This is 50 points. They come back up, they test it again. And if you're managing this right, your, your losers are maybe a point. So you can try it and you've got, in these markets, you've got 50, 100, 150 points that it can run, and your risk is a point. It's, it's just absolutely incredible. So you're short right here from 25 again, and 25 comes all the way down to 53. That's 75 points. So let's just say you had to try it 10 times here. You were long and short and long and short and long and short and long and short, and finally you get it right you're down 10 points and you get 75 points on this trade. Just absolutely incredible. So here's your long at 25. That goes all the way back up to 59. There's 30 points, 35 points. We break down. We go from 29, 25 all the way back down to there's 30 points on that. I mean, I think you're getting the idea here that, you know, this thing is, this is Friday's uh, market that we're looking at right here. So, they eventually break up above it and go from 25 and come all the way back up to this one, which is 74. So here's another 50 points. I mean, there's hundreds of points, hundreds of points on Friday using this. And that's you can absolutely see these lines don't go anywhere. I think this is probably why key turns is, I think almost every client, this is their favorite uh, indicator that we offer. So it's just, it's as absolutely simple to use as you can possibly use. If you use NinjaTrader, you can set an ATM strategy to reverse on the stop, and you can literally just trade this back and forth until you catch the move and then let it run in these markets. And when it's less volatile, it's, you know, it's fantastic even still. It's, uh, let's see. I don't know how many days I have loaded on here. So that's how it works in these very volatile markets. But I just want to, let's just point out and look at, uh, I just scan to a random part on the chart and you can just see. So here's early February. So we're long above here and you can see, so we're long above here at 32.90 quarter. And so we're long up above here. So from 32.90, this one day, 
it goes from 3290 all the way up to 3325 this was just a normal day in february so this is february 2nd i think is what we're looking at the 4th okay february 4th and here you have that so 3325 all the way down to 3290 and we got you know all of this off of the key turn it broke it finally held right here to the tick and then boom there they go came up touched it to the tick pulled back a little bit it hung around here for a little while and then eventually they were able to so if you have some other kind of strategy that you trade with it but this is the kind of day where there's you're you're not looking for hundred point moves off of this so you're short below here at 3325 these are six points that's probably yeah there's uh, 15 points on this one and then it starts to rally we look at the next day they eventually they come from here 50 up to 57 so I think you're getting the idea they came from right here used it to the tick at 49.75 it came all the way back down here to 32 so this was you know back in the normal day but you can see this thing holds up in any market conditions no, you know really no matter what the market conditions are look at this sell off from here from 44 sells off all the way down here to the next day's key turn at 05 there's a 40 point trade in a pretty normal market condition back on the 7th so that's key turn and you can see you know imagine using that in conjunction with something like the box where you know if you're looking for buy or sell opportunities and then you trade the box and you're looking for you know this is a pretty simple entry so key turns is one thing but then you can use the box for also you could be using that for where you were going to be buying and selling and uh, you know I'll dive into that a little bit more you can check out the video up here in the corner and we'll dive into a little bit more about how the box works and again using that with key turns just a phenomenal uh, really you know just great opportunity there so if you want to see more about the box you want or uh, key turns and you want to actually go get key turns there's a link below the video you can go click that and you can get a annual subscription to key turns and go check out the video on the box and I'll see you in the next video.